The overall mission of the Laboratories of Cognitive Neuroscience is to do research that will inform both parents and educators and policymakers about how child development and how brain development occurs over the first years of life. Just about every family is affected in some way by developmental disorders and over the past 20 to 30 years we have seen little progress in the area of early identification and treatment. If we can make even half the impact that they've been able to make in oncology, which I believe we can, this will affect everyone. The timing for understanding both brain and child development cannot be better right now. There have been tremendous advances in neuroscience, in genetics, and in genomics, and basically in our understanding of child development generally. And the tools that we use have reached a point of maturity where the use of those tools now really are serving as keys to unlock the box of the mystery of the developing brain. We recruited some of the leading cognitive neuroscientists in the United States today to collaborate with us in our large clinical programs with our genetics collaborators here at MIT. We have three faculty, one who studies dyslexia and auditory processing, one who studies attention and disorders of attention, and our lab here which studies a variety of disorders including autism. And what's nice about this is that having under one roof people who study various disorders as well as typical development, our skill sets complement one another and our research informs one another. We can imagine a day when we begin treatment of a developmental disorder before any behavior that's abnormal has been manifested and therefore alleviate the disability before it ever occurs.